In today's show, we have a story on career pathways and a story on market day. Hey, Vikes. And a stand up with Ali physicals. on sports so physicals. Are they are due yeah. Hi, Vikes. I'm Madison. And I'm Savannah. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Savannah, have you been taking the right classes for your career? Yeah, I think so, but I'm still not 100% sure on what I want to do. Well, you're in luck, because we have a story on career pathways. The pathways have been moved into the main hallway. We went to find out what pathways are. Okay, so a pathway is a way to try to help students organize what they want to learn in an area of interest. It's good to take different, lot of different things, but it's also if you're interested in teaching, then you should look at the teaching pathway and try to get, you'll have better skills and be better prepared when you go on to college to be a teacher if you have the, if you have that pathway. I'm planning to take their biomed pathway or like their science pathway. So I started by taking intro to agriculture and from there you can either take animal science or horticulture like you pick uh, whether you want the plant pathway or the animal pathway and I decided I was more interested in plants so I took horticulture. So I think it's what we're trying to do is get students to think more about the electives they take and not just take Willy -nilly. Well, the pathway has to like fit in your schedule and so you choose your classes based on like what you want to do when you grow up and I'm going to choose a bunch of science classes because that's like targeting what I want to do. I think they're helpful because right now high school it's like a difficult time and like you're just figuring out like what you want to do and so the pathways kind of help on like giving you different options on like what you want to do for a full career. If you're really wanting to pursue a career in a pathway you may be able to take an internship. If you're interested in, like, let's say, being, you know, a doctor, then you should probably take classes in that medical pathway so that you're prepared when you go out on your internship. You'll have more information. You can take an internship. Like, I didn't take one this year, but you can take one in, like, landscape design or um, a different like golf course turf management is what I would like to do in college so you could like go talk to somebody at a golf course and like just take an internship with some other horticulture profession. Those sound like they would be really helpful. Well here are some quick announcements. Students please park in the right parking spot. If you do not have a parking stall make sure to purchase one. The fall play will be tonight and Saturday. <coughs> Tickets can be bought at lunch for five dollars. The Letter Jacket Man will be here Tuesday, November 19th during lunch. He will be in the Commons to take orders and answer any questions you may have. If you have your letter, make sure to bring it with you. Before we head over to Sports with Madison, here's a quick commercial break. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. $5 at the door. Better get a front row seat. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and as many of you know, I love parkour. So much so that I've been trying to spread the knowledge of vitamins to everyone. But recently, I've hit a wall in my parkour experience. That was until I started training under a furry master, the GOAT. And today I'm here to introduce to all of you the power of the GOAT. The goats also make sure everyone hears them when they're about to do their parkour by bang. But instead, I do... 
Every day they do many laps and run a whole bunch up and down stairs. You know, they also have the magical technique of the random jump. Sometimes they'll be standing somewhere and just jump and it's crazy. The goats also use masterful techniques of nibbling on random objects. It's actually pretty good. Winter sports begin Monday. Ollie went out to find more information about the sports physical. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Sheree to talk about the sports physicals. So when are those due? They are due Monday. That's the first day of, of practice, so they need to be in Monday before 3 o'clock. Okay, awesome. And what do students need to fill out on those? The physical itself, here's page one. The doctor fills out page two. And then along with that is a parent consent form that is need to be signed by both parent and student, along with the concussion form and the assumption of risk form. Okay, awesome. Make sure and have those done. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to have your physical on file. If you have any sports equipment, please return them. Let's head over to Spano with the weather. Today's high is 58 and tonight's low is 36. It's just gonna be really nice out this weekend, so make sure you get out there. Back over to your anchors. Savannah, did you go to Market Day last week? Actually, I had a group in Market Day. Well, for the students who did not go, this is what you missed. Students are on the move to purchase goods from Market Day. Students in the entrepreneurship class discover what it's like to own a business by making and selling food during Calp. It's a project to give the students an opportunity to create a business, find products that are in demand, and try to provide those products, okay, and to basically see if you can make a profit from that. I really like seeing the variety because Normally at school, we don't see most of this stuff. It's nice to see a little bit of change in pace. In total, there were six different tables at Market Day. They typically create a survey to find out what kind of products the students would like to have, and then they cater to that. So the products vary from year to year. This year, it seemed like they had a lot of dessert ideas. The table with the most money was Hometown Sweets. In total, we made around $200, I believe. And in gross profit, we received, I'd say, $140 in gross profit. Um, our initial investment was around $20 for all of our supplies, including our forks and bowls and everything like that. Students think that the Market Day tradition should continue. Well, I hope that they keep this uh, tradition going on after. Those students really missed out. They sure did. That's all we have for today, Vikes. And we will be back Monday with your report. I hate this change.